Hello everyone. So today I'm solving another problem called maximum sum on Hacker Earth. So the question suggests you are given an array of integers a, and you need to find the maximum sum that can be obtained by picking some non-empty subset of the array. So we need to also print the uh, number of elements that has been chosen, and the number of elements also should be maximum. So uh, what does this question means is this is a very common problem uh, this simply means that we need to find the maximum subset sum in an array and also the element should be maximum so for example here it is given 1 2 minus 4 minus 2 and 3 so here the maximum sum is 1 plus 2 3 and 3 which is equal to 6 so let me explain you this uh, problem with some examples and we will see some edge cases so so for example here in the first case we have some positive and negative integers to get the sum to be maximum we only need to add the positive integers because see here we have like uh, uh, so here we have uh, we can add 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 3 plus 7 equals to 10 and 10 plus 2 equals to 12 so in the subset if we add some more negative integers then the sum will get reduced so to make the sum maximize we need to only add the positive integers so here the answer becomes 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 7 10 and 2 12 and the count of the num uh, numbers that we used here in the subset are 1 2 3 and 4 so another scenario uh, we see here here we have all the integers as a negative minus 1 minus 4 minus 7 and minus 2 so what will be the maximum sum here the maximum sum here will be the least integer that is minus 1 so we need to at least pick one uh, number to make a subset from the whole array so this is negative 1 so see if we ha add something more other than negative one here it will make the whole sum more negative and we need to maximize our sum so the answer here becomes negative one and the count becomes one we are choosing so here we are choosing only one integer that is minus one and its count is one and in the next scenario we see uh, that we have minus 2 0 minus 4 and minus 5 here again the biggest integer here is 0 so that becomes our answer again again if we add anything uh, other than this 0 our sum will become more negative and we need to maximize our sum and also the count so the answer here again becomes 0 maximum sum obtained is 0 and the count is one let's see another scenario here we have zeros negative integers and also the positive integers so here you can see like we need to maximize the sum so here you, you understand that we need to neglect the negative integers so we will consider this two this six this one and three okay so our sum becomes two plus six eight plus one nine plus three that is 10 so our sum becomes 10 but here the scenario is that the count here is 1 2 3 and 4 but we also need to maximize our count so just think for a while if we also include in our subset these zeros again the count will remain the same 10 that is maximum but the count of elements that will be increased by 2 so the maximum count becomes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so maximum count becomes 6 sum remains same and plus 0 plus 0 again remains 10 so what do we conclude here that to approach this problem whenever there are all the negative numbers we need to find the maximum number and whenever there is zero or any positive integer we need to 
neglect the negative integers and add all the numbers all the positive and zero integers so that will give us the maximum sum and the maximum count also so i hope you understand this problem let's dive into code and write stuff just as always i use c++ and <coughs> sorry for that i'm having a sore throat and hash include bit slash standard c++ dot h using namespace std and again we will start writing int main return 0 so we can see the input format we have list of <coughs> size of array and then number of arrays and also you can see that values are 10 raised to power 9 so I'm just considering long 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 n c in n to take the size and then long long a of n and let's take an integer i run through the loop i is equals to zero i is less than n and colon i plus plus and c in a of i to get all the array now we need some variables to store the sum and count also so let's take some variable maximum sum that is sum and let's just initialize our sum with first element because if it is even negative that can be first first integer so we will calculate thus the maximum number and also the count will be at least one now we will iterate through the whole array we have already considered the first uh, number and its count also so we will begin from first index so that is one semicolon i is less than n semicolon i plus plus okay now let's just say if f i is greater than equal to zero then we need to do something and also if else so this is for the zero and uh, zero or greater integers for that case firstly we need to check if the sum is less than zero so if we start from negative numbers and we uh, find something a positive value of zero then the sum will initiate our sum will initiate from that value so if the maximum value is minus two three or anything the sum will become this positive integer or the zero so if a of i is greater than equal to zero if sum is less than zero then sum simply becomes a of i that value else sum plus equals to now we already have something inside sum so we will keep on adding other positive or zero values sum plus equals to a of i and every time we will increase the count in the l section again we need to check for the maximum number if the number is negative so if sum is less than zero and a of i is greater than sum then sum will be equal to a of i so you understand this point so let's go through the code once again here we just uh, input the values now we are uh, initiate the sum with first value and count with one so if in beginning the values are negative then we will get into this else part that is if sum is less than zero and a of i the currently uh, negative number is greater than the previous one so suppose sum was minus seven and now we incur 
minus 3 so the maximum sum will become minus 3 uh, so we will uh, make sum as a of i that is minus 3 else if uh, if the a of i's value is 0 or greater than 0 then we will simply check if the sum is negative then we will uh, make our sum as that value else we will keep on adding the values to it you see here we are uh, increasing the count but not here because in negative scenario we will uh, the answer uh, for the count will remain one only and here it will keep on increasing so here we have included the zeros and positives and this was the negative scenario case let's just print our answer now that is see out sum space and count hope this works fine hope i didn't miss anything just compile it yeah so it's pass the sample test case So you see it has accepted all the test cases so it works fine this is uh, very much optimized since we are using a single loop so the time complexity here becomes order of n and we are not using any extra space other than the required input array so the space complexity becomes order of one so i think this is very useful and like uh, it's this question is being asked in many companies in the interviews or in the online test itself also it's very common problem this can be named as maximum subset sum problem hope this helps you and to become a better programmer if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment box below and subscribe for more such upcoming videos thanks a lot guys